Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Not Too Comic Book. This being a show where we talk about TV shows or our adaptations of comic books. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the latest episode of The Flash. Another great episode. A lot of really interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. Well, first and foremost, we're starting and picking up immediately where the last... Well, the previous part of Armageddon left us with Despero and Barry. You know, they made their agreement. He's like, right, you can watch me for the next seven days or whatever to decide whether or not you're going to kill me or not. And for him, it's like, right, your healing is a factor, but now I know exactly how much force I need to make sure to kill you so that your healing won't, won't enact. He's like, cool. Just because I have my rapid healing, that doesn't give me 100% uh, peace of mind because, hey, I, it still hurts like crazy. So it's like, hey. Like, why do you so believe that I would destroy this world? Like, why would I destroy my home, the people I care about? And it turns out, from his perspective, Barry went mad. Madness took him over. And he's saying that basically what's coming up today is going to be the thing that's kind of the linchpin that breaks. Because it's like, you've had tragedy upon tragedy and you've always surmounted it. But this thing will be the thing that breaks you. But then, like, and that's also the confusing thing, though. If that's the case... Why would it take 10 years for him to finally break? That's what doesn't make sense. Like, if Barry destroys the world 10 years from now, then why is it now that he's starting to complete light? Wouldn't there have been something in that time frame? This, like, there would have been something, not less Despero's appearance now, like, escalated things. Like, but it's like, it doesn't make any sense. There's definitely something larger at play here because there's too much going on in this episode for it not to be. Because even um, Frost kind of puts it out there, like, what if Barry... Because the rest of the team is like, nah, like, there's no way you do anything like that. You're a hero. But Frost brings up, like, well, let's not forget what happened when uh, Barry, like, got accelerated speed thinking. And what that did, it, it disconnected him from his emotions. He started thinking just logically instead of with his heart. So who Barry became then and what kind of an issue that created. So it's like, yeah, and even Chester's like, maybe, like too much power, too much speed, too fast, like, maybe you're not ready for it, but Barry's like, no, like, uh, 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 if, what happened before isn't going to happen again, we'll find a way forward, so, so, just when Barry's, like, heading into work, well, I mean, because, like, everyone's stressing and worrying about it, to the point Frost wants uh, Chester to make a weapon to kill, um, or at least hurt Despero, which I think is so interesting, because she tries to put it into perspective. It's like, don't think of it as making a weapon. Thinking of it as another means of protecting Barry. Because <clears throat> it, I didn't even think of it at the time of like what that would mean for Chester as a pacifist. It would mean going against everything he's ever believed in building a weapon. And he does plan everything out, but he still has his reservations about it. But, you know, even Barry's worried about it. I mean, that's the complicated thing of like, yeah, like Barry's been told time and time and time again, like, oh, what his fate's going to be, whether it's going to be, oh, Savitar killing, um, whether it's Savitar killing Iris, which technically happened, but it ended up being HR. So is that just because it was always meant to be that way, but it's like, no, things change. HR made that sacrifice. So things change there. Um. Barry was supposed to have disappeared. Well, that thing that made him disappear was that he died during crisis. He didn't die. Another Flash sacrificed himself so that Barry wouldn't have to sacrifice himself during crisis. Well, more specifically, another Barry Allen. But still, it's like fate has been changed at every every turn. Every I mean, once again, we're, we're living in a time where Barry's entire future changed because of Eobard. Eobard gave him his powers years before he was naturally supposed to get them. Just because Eobar, well, created the machinations because he wanted to get home. He didn't want to have to wait forever to find his way back to the future. Tensions and all that aside, like, Barry's always, fate has always been knocked off course of what it was supposed to be. So, you know, how is this any different? But it's still worrying you when, like, a villain is showing up. Well, a guy is showing up to be like, no, you're the bad guy in this situation. Because they do talk, they talk to Alex, I'm like, yeah! Because uh, she is in the promotional material, like, uh... How much she'll be in this uh, crossover, we'll see. But obviously, this is her first. I'm like, yeah, this is you post. This if I'm, I'm assuming this is a post her getting married and the DEO getting started up again. So, because she says later on, Kara and John are off world right now. So she's helping with whatever information she can about. Um, but like at first, like there's no information on an alien species like Despero. So, but uh, 
Barry shows up at a crime scene where he finds out, like, oh, they tell him, like, yeah, a guard kind of went insane. And it's like, okay, so someone went insane the same day I'm supposed to go insane. And then Kramer is like, hey, I need you to turn your badge because it turns out it seems like there was a second mole working for Joseph Carver. You, and it's like, wait, what? He's like, no, this guy, like, let me do my job. And she's like, normally Joe, Joe would, t what Joe would tell me is kind of keep an open mind. She's like, and because of that, I'm going to investigate. I'm going to figure this out. But... Um, at the end of the day, I still need you to turn in your badge because Barry needs to work this because he's like, yeah, this could lead to me potentially losing my mind, hurting people, and eventually destroying the world. But he still has to turn in his badge and he talks to Cecile. And I love that Cecile's like, I'm going to big, bring the biggest law, uh, unlawful termination lawsuit against him. I was like, yo, bring in the energy, ain't you? Um, but they did reference it early on. It's like, yeah, you know, um, the whole, uh, Cecile having trouble, like, you know, dealing with Jenna, like, they were setting the groundwork early on, and I just, I didn't think much of it, I was like, what's going on on that front, like, what was going, on? and Cecile's like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, he's like, I'm sorry, she's like, you, you know what I'm going through, but then, like, Despero, because he's, like, his main body is at, uh, Star Labs, but he's tele, he's, like, projecting of his consciousness all over the place at the crime scene, when he heard about, like, Zotar, and then, like, I might have said Kotar before, Zotar, um, and he just kept popping up all over the place. It's like Barry's constantly having to walk around with a noose around his neck. Um, it's like, oh, like he's at in. Oh, I'm always watch you. I'm ready to strike at any point in time if I need to put you down. Any signs of badness, I will put you down. And so, um, Cecile can sense his energy. Like, yeah, something's not right here. What's going on? Um, like she could sense like. She can't see him when he was projecting himself just to Barry, but she could feel him because she was like, it was almost, it felt like you and me were just like drowning in like his, his energy, just him projecting himself here. So things get even more complicated because Barry went to try and visit the guard, but the guard's just kind of saying Zotar, Zotar over and over again. Well, it turns out, um, at the same time that's happening, they get struck at, um, Star Labs, it's like, wait, what? And this is what was like, something's definitely up because Barry's being put in a situation he has as Barry Allen and Star Labs is being shut down. So it's like, it's like they're getting attacked on all fronts because it turns out like there's a radiation leak, but it's like, if there was one, we'd know. But it's like, no, apparently like their sensors were destroyed and it's like, yeah, another day here, you guys would have been in the ICU and it's like, what? what the hell so they have like people are going in and out they're basically going to have to tear down star labs and move the debris somewhere else so they have to shut off every other like flash related thing and it, it uh, you know gideon shuts it down puts up like holographic like things to kind of uh make people look elsewhere but also gideon has to like destroy herself you know it's like thank you for all you've done gideon it's been gideon's like it's been an honor working with you barry allen farewell you know and it's like damn I mean, to be fair, we never, this Gideon's come in from time to time, but obviously the only Gideon we know, which feels so bad, but it's like, uh, I mean, it's complicated because obviously we're, uh, Legends of Tomorrow is currently, it's like, yeah, that, there's the good Gideon and there's kind of evil Gideon that was working with Bishop, that's, you know, the whole thing, obviously, if you're caught up with Legends of Tomorrow, so... But it's like, yeah, if that happened to our Gideon, it, it break because that that's our Gideon. Like this Gideon, we've had interactions with from time to time. But she's helped out. She's but like that. That's the Gideon we know. You know, uh, is the one from Legends. But um, regardless, it's like right. So they're without a Star Labs. Barry can't work his job either. So it's like okay. So getting information, they found out about a. Uh, Zotar, they, um, the citizens, uh, well, Barry went to Iris about it, and didn't, that's when she brought up the whole Cecile and Jenna thing, I think. But then, uh, it's like, right, uh, they got people looking into it, and they found out about Zotar being a meta from National City. Barry runs into her, and then she whammies him, and the moment he snaps out of it, he's in the apartment, and he trashed it, and then, like, Cecile, like, I know it's, um, Allegra, Chuck, as well as, um, Caitlin are like, what the hell are you doing, Barry? He's like, what? I don't remember. I just, he's like, no, I'm, I'm good. It's like, yeah, you came in here, like, trash the place. You even tried to, like, throw lightning at Chester. It's like, he's like, no, I wouldn't. You're like, what the, what is it? Because at first I'm like, is he being even more whammy? Like, is this making him see stuff that's not, like, what? Like, 
Like I said, this entire episode felt off. Like, just something's not right. The team kind of divides and conquers again. Um, Because, I mean, hell, like, I mean, it's like you've lost your double homes uh, to some extent. Because even Caitlyn says, like, yeah, like, Star Labs is the only home she's ever known. She's like, I've spent more time in Star Labs than I have anywhere else. I mean, it's been where this this family was formed and forged in uh, Star Labs. And so for that to kind of be taken from them, it's like... It's just one emotional blow after another. And so Barry goes off looking for Zotar while the rest of the team is working. And, you know, Allegra actually talks to uh, uh, Ch- uh, Chester about, like, yeah, like, the fact is that nothing you said sounds exactly like w- from our D&D game. And we all knew you were bluffing. But for him, he talks about why he uh, became a pacifist. He, uh, being the smart person that he's always been, he actually built his own version of a ray gun watching uh, Marvin the Martian. Uh, which part of me, want, once again, there's always that thing of like, do you make specific reference like that because it's under the WB umbrella so you never have to worry about there being an issue you referencing it? It's like, oh, we have the license to say that because we're all under the same Warner Brothers umbrella. Whatever the case may be, I always think that's interesting. But <clears throat> he wanted to make his own as a 10-year-old, and he did, and he wanted to show it off to his friend, and when he did, he nearly burned his friend's house down. Almost him and his, his friend and his friend's family barely made it out. So it made him decide he would never make any weapon again, you know? But then, like, that's the thing for um, Allegra. It's like, yeah, but you, you've all, you being you is what is a perfect part of this team. Like, that's how you protect, like, Barry, that's how you help the rest of us. It's always being you. Like, find a way to protect Barry without ever losing who you are. Interesting timing considering Barry is potentially losing who he is. But um, he goes racing around looking for, um, looking everywhere for, um, Zotar, but then um, Despero shows up, and it's like, why are you so invested in this? And I figured as much because I love Allegra. I was like, yeah, like he's not even from this world. I was like, well, I was like, well, neither is Kara and Clark, but they still fight to protect this world. I mean, both to be, I guess, in their situations, like, well, they did lose their homes, and it seems like Despero's in the same situation. But it's like, because I was about to say, like, at the heart of it, like, you know, like, Clark, this is more his home than even Krypton. And it's like, that's always going, Krypton is always going to be a part of him, but he's he spent more time on Earth. And even Kara has. Kara spent most of her life on Earth. She still has memories of Krypton, but still. So I was wondering if it was kind of a similar thing, and it seems like it is. Basically, there was a ruler there that he fought up against, but instead of killing the ruler when he had the chance, he showed mercy. That ruler came back did a thousand times worse stuff, caused more devastation, and left him alive to suffer, knowing, like, yeah, the greatest, like, pain I can make you go through is making you live with the knowledge of, kind of, this is on you. And so he made Earth his new home. And so the moment he found out about uh, Barry's actions, like, that's why he felt the need to do it. That's why, once again, I find it fascinating. I'm like, so, like, no one else stepped up against... Barry. I mean, come on, we live in a world with a ton of heroes. Are you saying, like, Barry nuked everybody else, too? Like, not a Kara. I mean, we see him in this episode. We'll get to it later, but not, not, a, uh, not Jeff, not, uh, Clark. Like, nobody put a stop name. Like, there are plenty of heroes in this world that, that could stand up to him, but it, are you telling me, like, Barry went so, like, he's so powered up now that, like, he took everyone down even all of the super friends like that's what i'm curious about like because why is it that why is it desperate because even allegra early on was like ah, certain parts of his story don't make sense i'm like that's why i'm like maybe he believes certain aspects of it are true but also it's like you know time constantly changes and nothing's always set 100 percent in stone so i don't know what to make of it all but um Hearing that story now, Barry understands like why he's like from why he's so. It's like yeah, like this is just as much my home, and I until you destroy it. So you know because he made the mistake before showing mercy when he shouldn't have, and he sees a threat before him, and it's like I'm not gonna make that. I'm, he's already borderline making that mistake again because he's giving Barry a chance. But it's like the moment you show any inkling of becoming who I know you'll be, the destroyer. I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to kill you. I'm doing this. For everyone, not just for myself, but for every living being on this planet, you have to be stopped. They ultimately end up tracking down uh, Zotar, and Barry confronts her. But she also has telekinesis, and she's about to break Barry's bones. So Barry throws lightning, even though he's 
like can't run up to build up speed he vibrates his molecules to generate enough electricity and it's like what happens when that electricity just builds up becomes too much for barry's body and he's like like this is the first time he's ever done this and they're like i caitlin's even caitlin's like i have no idea and it just like straight up shoots out of him like like he's a cloud in the sky and lightning's coming from him and uh I was worried that the discharge from him landing would like affect everyone else, but it seems like no, he just removes uh, Kotar, which uh, Zot I keep saying Kotar, Zotar, because um, I think in my head I'm almost wanting to say Kotor, like Knights of the Old Republic, even though like you know just because I I've heard most people refer to Knights of the Old Republic as Kotor, so I think that's why that's kind of like messing me up a little bit. Um, even though once again I've never played the game, I've seen people play it a little bit. I'm not a Star Wars person. It's just that it's just one of those zeitgeist things that's just in my head um but it seems like it's like oh everything's resolved it's like oh no no issues everything's good but then you know the team is like yeah but she's back she's locked up and the moment she got locked up all of zotar's uh victims turn back to normal which side note uh i believe oh god i'm back blank blanking on her name isn't her last name the actress's name mcclure because she i believe that's the same actress who plays the guardian and um charmed so it's cw wise uh the first thing i, I want to say i think she isn't she from like battlestar galactica is like one of the things she's like best known for i want to say maybe thing i ever first thing i ever saw her in was she played the character clementine in um hemlock grove i believe that's that same actress i could be mistaken i didn't pay as much attention in the opening um credits but i think that's the same actress i could be wrong um but other than that it's like, okay, everyone that was under her spell was basically free from it. says, so like, oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, let's wait for Joe to cook us something. It's like, how can you say something like that, Barry? He's like, he's like what? It's like, Joe died. You're like, wait, what? I'm like, is he in some parallel? Because I, I thought it was weird. I was like, we aren't, I haven't seen Joe make an appearance. But obviously, Joe comes in and out. So you're like, wait, what? And Barry's like, no, that can't be. You're like, wait, what? And it's like, yeah, Joe died. No, What? And then Barry races off there like, hey, man, let's just get you checked out again. And he rushes over to the house. He's like, where is he? And, she's, and Iris is like, what are you talking about? She's like, he's like, where's Joe? And she points to the thing. And it's like, she see, he's like, no, 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 this can't be right. Like, there has to be something more to this. And then Cecile's like, Barry, like, you know, I'm barely holding on. Like, how can you do this? It's like, wait, you don't remember? Like, something's definitely off. Like, he doesn't remember Joe dying like six months ago. So that had to be like sometime after the wedding, right? Like, so it's like, wait, is that, it's not making it. So like, has Barry been presenting like, like everything's okay for the past, like ever since Joe died. But it's like, he was like, no, but she even said like, you gave his eulogy at the funeral. I'm like, wait, it's Barry in a parallel time at some point. Like, wait, what? What's going on here? Like, what's it? Things aren't at adding up. Like something is severely off here. And so... Despero shows up to kill him and it's like right if you want to kill me then kill me like I'm here like leave everyone alone uh, because despite everything you know even Cecile stood up for him it's like no like get out of my house but he's like oh impact even you can't stop me for your powers luckily Chester and Allegra show up it was a one shot protecting Barry and they uh, Barry races off because they're telling him to run and for him it's like I'm trying to protect you all from him because even Barry is like if I ended up hurting the people I love uh, because of my enhanced speed and stuff. So he's like, I don't know how I'd react. And so now it's a situation of like, once again, now they, they've been laying the groundwork the entire episode of like, eh, there's something off. Like they keep referencing like something bad happened, but it seems like Barry's completely dismissive. But, but I mean, to be fair, it was like after, uh, after Flashpoint, after he erased Flashpoint, but the timeline didn't snap back the way he thought it would, Joe and Iris weren't in a good place, you know? So... And obviously, uh, Caitlyn was a meta. Uh, Dante was dead in this timeline. You know, um, Cisco's brother. So it's like, so that's when I'm like, what's going? On? It is it. It can't be because I it very well. To be fair, this might be a little bit of a flashpoint thing in its own regard too, because. Well, at least going by the Paradox Flashpoint, like, Barry didn't remember that he caused Flashpoint in that particular regard. He remembered, he had all his memories and everything in this, but, like, he didn't remember, at least in the Flashpoint, Par Justice League Flashpoint Paradox movie. I don't know if that's a, if that's what happens in the comics as well, but he thought, like, Eobar, uh, Thawne, like, Reverse Flash had done it, but in actuality, he had done it going back in time trying to save his mom. 
So I don't know if there's a little bit of that going on where like in his, I, I don't know. Then if that was a the case, then like why? Cause he would definitely be, if that was a case, like we, if there was a similar thing going on here, obviously he'd be like, no, everyone would know that Joe's alive and like he would, you know, so it's like for him not to have any memory. So either he just, the trauma of it blocked, but it's like, wh like, is that what broke him? Is that today is the day he remembered like someone had, cause like, once again, like the groundwork has been set up to like, uh, Tarnish's name is Barry Allen. Someone destroyed, like, they couldn't tell. Like, they wanted, like, them, uh, Team Flash to not have access to Star Labs at that time. You know, so it's like, what's going on? And so, but the, the, going back to it, the point was I was talking about was like, Despero was like, I'm trying to protect you from him. So, why are you trying to, why are you fighting to protect him? And it's just like, because they love him and they care about him and they're not going to let you kill him despite it. They, like, we'll figure everything out, but still. And ultimately, um, they talk to Alex, and it's like, yeah, like, uh, his species, even the fire he uses, it's from the core of his planet. They're like, yeah, like, Alex was like, it, it's kind of an urban legend. Like, no one, you guys are lucky enough to meet the first, like, the only, potentially, like, the first ones to ever make contact with that species, because even they haven't even had contact with them. And they're like, yeah, lucky us. But it's like, now that you have a follow on Despero, I'll do everything I can to help you guys out. It's, it's, you know, be safe out there. And, it's, and even asking if Barry's going to be okay. And so they're like, yeah, we'll figure this all out. But the question is, like, yeah, but when, if we do find Barry, like, if he if he even wants to be found, if we do find him, what will he be like if we do? And so Barry runs to the Hall of Justice, and uh, he's there, and it's just, uh, lo and behold, Jeff is waiting. Oh yeah. So probably going to get a little context about like what's happened post, you know, uh, Black Lightning ending. So probably finding out like what's happening on that front. Uh, maybe get a little bit more filled in about like you know his family situation and their circumstances. But uh, Jeff is like, what's going on, Barry? And Barry just says the one word, injustice. So injustice in the sense of th something's not right. But it's like obviously those words mean a lot of different things in this universe. So I'm like, are you going to do your own version of like only like your own flash version of like injustice or something like that? Um, I mean, because that's what set Superman off. Because, I, I mean, I, I had skipped over it, but apparently Barry lost his mind and attacked the city. But, apparently, you know, that's what happened to Superman. He, Lois was killed, and he killed the Joker and just went on, like, a dictator-level run of the world of trying to root out evil. And so Barry's wondering, like, you know, like, are they doing, like, a Flash version of, like, Injustice or something like that, which obviously Flash was involved in Injustice, but still, you get what I'm trying to say, like, him playing a little bit of that Superman role of, like, but it's, like, more to it, I mean, because instead of Lois, it's his, I mean, he's lost both of his parents, um, the multiverse collapsed, uh, he lost the only other father figure he's had in his life, so it's just, like, I don't, I don't know, man. And he's turning to Jeff for help, or is it just an, an injustice in the fr in the fact is that like I'm being framed for something like so none of this is making any sense. So it's that's all I keep saying that over and over again because I'm so confused of what and I'm so excited to find out like what this is because like I said everything just feels wrong. So and once again I'm surprised because I I would have never guessed because when we got it's like oh because you know Despero says he's like I'm trying to prevent Armageddon I was like yeah never would have thought it'd be Barry that would cause Armageddon you thought it was Despero I, I love that the trailers didn't hint that Barry was the bad guy you know so potentially so we'll, we'll see there's definitely got to be more at play here so we'll have to wait and see where the next episode takes us with all of this. Uh, but really, that's all I'm going to talk about. To the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, love light to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day, and goodbye.